Motorbikes represent the pinnacle of motorcycle technology, sometimes referred to as supersports and superbikes. This breed of motorcycles are constantly evolving. Suspension, brakes, aerodynamics and rider assist technologies are always being updated and improved while horsepower and performance are forever on the rise. Sport bikes are some of the fastest, most agile, most powerful motorcycles we mortals can own in this lifetime. These bikes are designed to rip which is why they're perfect for competition on the track and spirited rides on mountain roads. The segment continues to thrive as more models are joining the family in 2021, while some staples receive key upgrades to make them more competitive than ever. But before we take a look at the new sport bike class of 2021, if you're new here and you want to catch some amazing motorcycle related content and all the new bike releases, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Aprilia has been doing some serious legwork in recent months. After the all-new RS660's launch and the introduction of its Naked counterpart, the Tuono 660, the company followed up with the updated duo of flagships, the RSV4 and Tuono V4. On the fully fared end of the spectrum, the top shelf RS received some significant upgrades. While it did receive a facelift, inspired by the smaller RS, the V4's most important upgrade happened under the bodywork. For 2021, the engine's displacement increases from 1077cc to 1099cc and now produces 217 horsepower, up from 201 for the base model. The bike also gets an upgraded menu of tech features including new Morelli ECU, a 6-axis IMU, multi-level engine brake control, six riding modes, a larger TFT display and cornering lights. The MSRP for the standard RSV4 is $18,999, while the RSV4 factory carries a price tag of $25,999. Both versions will be hitting the dealerships by the end of March. When BMW trademarked a trio of M-branded bikes back in September 2019, we knew it could only mean one thing. The House of Munich was bringing its M-badge to its motorcycle lineup and seemingly had a few high-performance bikes in the works. In September 2020, BMW introduced the new M1000RR as the S1000RR's top spec version. The company tweaked the engine to wring more power out of it. In its M form, the inline 4 is tweaked to churn out 212 horsepower at 14,500 rpm, up from the base S that produces 205 horses at 13,000 rpm and 83 pound feet of torque at 11,000 rpm. The M receives a slew of lightweight components, including lighter pistons titanium connecting rods, an Akrapovic exhaust system, and 17-inch carbon wheels that help drop the weight down an additional 11 pounds. The 2021 BMW M1000RR will come at a starting price of $32,900 that is roughly double the cost of the standard S1000RR which starts at $16,995 US dollars. We tend to associate Ducati with expensive bikes such as the Panigale, but the flaming red brand does offer a more affordable entry-level point into its sport bike lineup. For 2021, Ducati refreshed the super sports design and gave it a more Panigale-inspired look. Everything from the headlamp to the side gills were borrowed from one of the sexiest sport bikes on the market, which makes the 950 even more attractive. Also new this year is the Bosch 6-axis IMU paired with three riding modes, cornering ABS, traction control and wheelie control. Though the 937cc Testa Strata Twin was updated to Euro 5 standards, the power figure remains unchanged at 110 horses and 69 pound-feet of torque. The road bias sport bike from Ducati will appear in dealerships in March, starting at a price tag of $13,495 for the base model. In November 2020, Kawasaki unveiled the new generation Ninja ZX 10R and 10RR. Changes to the 2021 model year went beyond the simple Euro 5 update. In fact, Team Green overhauled the 998cc inline 4 engine with electronically actuated valves, new gear ratios, and an air cooled oil cooler, resulting in meatier performance and cleaner emissions. Under the redesigned body panels that give the new ZX an even more aggressive look and improved aerodynamics, Kawasaki optimized the frame's geometry further to improve its handling. Thanks to a taller windscreen, forward clip-ons, a revised saddle shape and higher set footpegs, the ergos are now sportier than ever.
In addition to the physical changes, the ZX also features a host of electronics including cruise control, 7 riding modes, launch control and the Rideology app compatibility. As for the ZX 10 rr it receives similar updates with revised camshafts, new intake and exhaust valve springs, titanium connecting rods and pistons, which help increase the RR's rev limit. Pricing for the ZX 10R starts at $16,699 and $28,999 for the RR. Last but definitely not the least is the third generation Mighty Peregrine Falcon, the Suzuki Hayabusa. In addition to a fresh, more aggressive look, the bike received a number of mechanical tweaks to improve its performance. Though on paper the bike lost a few ponies down to 188 horses from 194, Suzuki claims that the bike is more responsive and offers better acceleration than the outgoing model. The team also took a few weight saving measures including a new subframe and exhaust system as well as lighter engine components resulting in a modest 4 pound drop. The bike also gets a 10 mode motion track control system, anti-lift control, engine brake control, active speed limiter, launch control, low RPM assist, cruise control as well as slope and hill control. The new Suzuki Hayabusa will cost $18,599, which is a $3,800 price increase over the previous generation machine and might be a tough pill to swallow for the sport bike enthusiasts. So these are my picks of the top 5 sport bikes coming our way in 2021. Let me know in the comments down below which one are you looking forward to the most. If you like this video then smash that like button and if you'd like to catch more motorcycle news and content like this, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.